welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Tatum and today I'm going to be doing the top five things to do in St. Louis, Missouri with some honorable mentions. I probably could have made a top 10, but once I got down into the weeds, there were just too many to kind of rank them. So starting with number one if you know me this probably does not come as a surprise but number one is the missouri baking company so the missouri baking company is in this part of st louis called the hill where all of the fabulous italian restaurants are that's actually going to be an honorable mention later but the missouri baking company has the best Italian pastries you're ever gonna taste outside of Italy. Obviously, I've never been to Italy, so I assume they're better there than they are here, but I'm not kidding you when I say these are the best pastries I've had in my entire life. I just love them. We go almost every weekend, sometimes during the week. It's so good. My favorite thing to get is the Sfoiatelli. If you're Italian and I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Basically, they're the little lobster tail pastries, so it's puff pastry and then it's filled with something with orange. I don't know what it is, but topped with powdered sugar, best thing I've ever had. Wonderful. So that's number one. Moving on to number two is obviously the Arch. You can't visit St. Louis without going to the Arch. We've been to the Arch a few times. We live pretty close here in Soulard, but we've never actually been inside of it. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna insert some clips here of us doing that. And normally I don't find architecture that cool, but for some reason the Arch being right on the river and it's just it's all metal and I don't know, it's a pretty cool sight to see, so if you go to St. Louis, you have to see the arch. This also probably won't come as a surprise, the Soulard Farmer's Market. Rob and I wake up every Saturday morning and go. There are stands for everything. Today we got some fresh pasta, fresh cheese, we got, I don't even know. We got fresh pasta sauce, we got focaccia, we got, I don't know, normally we get lettuce and carrots and blueberries. There's just, so many things, they have flowers, they have t-shirts, they have crystals, there's leather things, essential oils. Um, we love getting the mini donuts that are there. Just the most insane farmer's market I've ever been to in my entire life. And it is definitely a sight to see. We've enjoyed everything that we've had from there. So I definitely suggest, and if you can't tell from two out of the top three being food related, that's what I'm really about. The baked goods, the, the bread, the pasta. So if that's not your thing, then you probably have a different top five, but this is my top five. So number three is the Soulard Farmer's Market. Coming in at number four, also, this probably isn't a surprise, a St. Louis Blues game. If you know, I'm a huge Washington Capitals hockey fan. So actually this Monday, Rob and I went to a hockey game at the Enterprise Arena. It's gorgeous, so fun. So if you're into hockey, I definitely suggest. And finally coming in at number five, I would say the Botanical Gardens. I actually haven't been in about a year now. We went a while ago and just insanely gorgeous. It's huge. There is so much 
foliage and flowers and beautiful things to see. So I'd say pick a really nice day, not too hot, not too cold. You want everything to be, you know, whatever, grown. What do they do? Flowers bloom, all bloomed, gorgeous. So that's number five. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage from when we went there, but I can insert some little pictures from what we did. And moving into the honorable mentions. So there are a lot of honorable mentions because there's so many fabulous places to go now that I've, Rob has lived here for almost two years. So we've kind of experienced a lot of things here. So I would say the hill is an honorable mention if you like Italian food, just so many authentic restaurants. We've had some of the best chicken parmesan, just ravioli, wonderful, wonderful food. And then another honorable mention would be Mello's Pizza. It's in Sular, so, so fantastic. It's only open on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I feel like that's how you know when a pizza place is good. <laughs> They're not open every day. It's a thinner pizza with I'd say very, I, I don't want to use the word spicy because I don't like spice, but it's definitely got those basil and oregano flavors, the sauce, the cheese, perfect ratio. So I definitely suggest getting some mellows if you're in the area. Some other honorable mentions, Ballpark Village. I've never been able to go to a Cardinals game because of COVID. So maybe if I had, that would be in the top five, but Ballpark Village is the surrounding area outside of the stadium with all of the bars. There are so many of them. I've actually been to some of them. So I definitely suggest if you're into baseball, sports, or even just bars, I'd suggest going there. It's in the city, really close to the arch. So good place to go. Other honorable mentions, if you're really into beer, I'd say Anheuser-Busch. We did a tour about a year ago. Really great if that's your thing. Not really my thing anymore, so definitely not top five, but it was a good experience, so I'd suggest that. And then, do I have any other honorable mentions? If I do, I will write them in the description down below. But those are my top five and honorable mentions of St. Louis. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe down below and thanks. I did forget the zoo and Forest Park. So if you're into outdoor things, Forest Park is fantastic. And then obviously the zoo, just like all the other zoos, but <laughs> it's really fun to go to, so I suggest.